Oh, now I see myself. Uh, good evening. Uh, welcome to the uh, Committee on Special Legislation and Veterans Affairs. Uh, can everyone on the committee hear me? All right, uh, clerk. Yes. Can we do the yes. roll call, please? Senator Felag. Present. Senator Murray. Thank you. Present. Present. Senator Lawson. Senator Lawson. Present. Present. Oh, good. Senator Bell. Senator Bell. Present. Present. Oh, hold on. Nick. <laughs> Senator Mendes. Present. Senator Morgan. Senator Morgan. Do we have a quorum? Senator Reptakis. Present. Senator Seveny. Here. Yes, you do. All right, we have a quorum. Uh, the majority leader is not here yet, so we're going to hold off on that bill. Uh, let's let's skip that, please. Uh, I'm going to go first to uh, Senate Bill 614, Senate uh, 615, Senator Sosnowski, uh, since we have her on uh, WebEx. And I know she's going to be brief and to the point. So, uh, <laughs> Senator Sosnowski, can you endeavor to explain your piece of legislation here? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, yes, um, we can. Okay. Uh, this act creates a special license plate for the non-for-profit non Atlantic Shock Institute. And I introduced this bill at the request of the executive director of the Atlantic Shark Institute. And um, as he has told me, the Institute is focused on critical shark research in an effort to get a better handle on shark species here in Rhode Island, their density, conservation, and management. Um, some of you may recall hearing about the white sharks being detected around Block Island um, the last two summers. Uh, many of these sharks are in trouble, according to the executive director. And um, according to him, he feels that can have a direct and cascading effect on ocean health and our environment. And he also goes on to tell me that uh, uh, more than 100 million sharks are being killed a year, and that's simply not sustainable. So um, the reason that he contacted me uh, to create a license plate for the Atlantic Shark Institute is to aid in their fundraising. They have no paid employees. All of their donations go directly to the Institute and their important research. Um, the Executive Director John Dodd couldn't uh, call in this evening, but he will be forwarding written testimony to you, Mr. Chairman, and to the members of the committee. And if you have any questions, I would uh, endeavor to answer them. Uh, my first question is, uh, where is this uh, Atlantic Shock Institute located? It's in South Kingstown. South Kingstown. And, and what is their charter? Uh, they're a 501c3. I do not have their charter in front of me, but I can, uh, I can ask Mr. Dard, uh, the executive director for that. Okay, I just want to make sure it's right. a reputable organization and obviously it's within the state of Rhode Island. So any other questions yes. from any committee member? Uh, hearing none, since this is the first time we're hearing this new plate bill, I'd like to have a motion to hold for further study. Can we have a motion to that effect? Senator Murray, second by Senator Raptakis. Roll call, please. Senator Felag? Yes. Senator Murray? Yes. Senator Lawson? Yes. Senator Bell? Senator Bell. Senator Bell? Senator Bell? Yes. Sen yes. Senator Mendes? Senator Mendes? Yes. Yes. 
Senator Morgan. Senator Morgan. Senator Raptakis. Senator Raptakis. Yes. Senator Seveny. Senator Seveny. Uh, he's looking away, so okay. keep going. Uh, Senator De La Cruz. Yes, I'll be filling in for Senator Elaine Morgan tonight. Thank you. All right, so uh, we'll hold for further study. I see Senator Casada there. Is uh, Senator Casada, is she available for her piece of legislation? Yes, I am. Well, we will now move to Senate Bill 841, uh, a license plate for the Alzheimer's Disease and Related Disorders Association. Can you endeavor to explain this piece of legislation? Well, thank you, Chairman, and thank you to all the members of the committee. Uh, this is a very self-explanation. Um, all these plates are going to benefit the Alzheimer's Association um, a, a few weeks ago, I would say like a month ago, I received a phone call for one of my constituents who her husband died or assignment a few years ago. And she asked me to put this piece of, piece of legislation for her and, and, and I'm favor of the Alzheimer's Association that I thought it was, um, you know, a, a good idea to do. And, and I would benefit something that so many people be having this issue and so many family going through this at this time. With that, I would answer any question you may have. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions of the Senator on this piece of legislation? Uh, hearing none, I believe we have one witness, uh, Susan Hudson. Do we have her on the line? Hello, Susan. Yes, hello. Very good. Uh, you're in the Senate uh, Special Edge and Veterans Affairs Committee regarding the Alzheimer's plate. Can you endeavor to provide your testimony? Certainly. Mr. Chairman, committee members, thank you for considering this legislation for a charity plate for the Alzheimer's disease and related disorder. I'm grateful to Senator Quezada for bringing this to you. I'm hearing a little reverb. Is, should I continue? Uh, proceed. We hear you well. Okay. Okay. This whole idea started um, when I was in the process of ordering a, a new plate for my car because mine was damaged. So when I got to the DMV page, I saw all the opportunities of all the plates available to me because you know, in Rhode Island, we love our plates. So it got me to thinking, why wasn't there a plate to prom promote the um, Rhode Island Alzheimer's Association and awareness of Alzheimer's disease? So I was already a volunteer advocate. So I brought it up at our next meeting and I volunteered to spearhead the process. So, you know, once you volunteer, you know you get that job, right? <laughs> yep. So, uh, once I got the green light, I contacted Senator Quezada and Representative Williams, and here we are. Alzheimer's disease has touched me personally three times. In the distance past with my mother-in-law, currently with my own mother, but the diagnosis that really got me involved with the Alzheimer's Association was my husband. He was 57, and I was 53 when that happened. So at that age, we were just hitting our stride in life. We finally felt financially stable. We had worked hard in our careers. We were both in leader positions, leadership positions in our jobs. Our 125-year-old house finally didn't need any big projects. But his diagnosis was like a bomb that blew our lives apart. Our lives in that moment and all our dreams for the future. So I had experienced the disease with my mother-in-law. 
I thought I knew what was coming. But Alzheimer's affects everybody differently. I was really prepared for him not remembering me. I was prepared for him repeating things over and over. What I was not prepared for was my husband's loss of language. And that happened pretty early on in his disease. He, Gil was a talker. He could talk to anyone about anything. And as a couple, we talked about everything. So depending on which one of us you were talking about in the moment, it could have been described as a discussion or an argument. We talked about what color to paint the walls, what restaurants to go to, what movies to see, what time to go to the beach. We get the picture. And sometimes I get so mad, I'd say to him, can't you just take what I say and go with it? And when I look back, I think that's the part I missed of him the most as he faded away. I really, I really longed for that discussion, that debate about things, that support in making decisions. I would have given anything to get that back. So that's why I come to you today, because everyone will be touched by this disease at some point in their lives, if not now, then sometime in the future. So I'm hoping this, you can help this with additional support for education and programming to the Alzheimer's Association so it'll reach everyone who needs it from now until we find a treatment or a cure. And uh, I'll always feel like I'm taking my husband with me on an adventure if I have a car with an Alzheimer's plate on it. All right. So thank uh, you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, some questions. Uh, where is the organization that the uh, money's going to be going? Where is that location? The, that Alzheimer's. Is, um, the Alzheimer's Association is on uh, Angel Street. I believe it's Angel Street in east, on the east side of Providence in the Bliss Building. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I guess the big question is a lot of these organizations, they have like uh, good... Uh, endeavors in terms of trying to derive this number of 600. Have you done any preliminary studies to see who would be interested in having this type of plate? I have, I have not done that. Can I don't you, know if the association has done that or not. Can you, can you check with your organization? Because like sure, I say, I we, we've in the past, uh, approved a lot of these plates and uh, I'm remiss that I didn't bring the facts and figures with me today from the, uh, the DMV to indicates the number of these plates that go out that never uh, derive the 600 which is the requirement and, and that's why I think Senator Archibald has a bill to limit it to 300 in the organization pay a fee because it's easy to think about getting that number, but to actually do it, and I can give you a classic example. A few years back, I passed the bills for the colleges, and you think of the colleges as being a, a big uh, organization, whether it be URI or Providence College, and they still haven't re got to the 600 amount. So uh, I would like you to try to do at least a survey or something to see what number you can derive. Okay, I'll certainly ask them to do that. I know that, I mean, Alzheimer's is growing at a rate of 14% a year in Rhode Island, and it's, uh, it's the fifth leading cause of death in our state. So I think we can probably raise the 600, but absolutely we can check that for you. All right, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, hearing none, could I have a motion to hold for further study? Uh, clerk, roll call. Senator Murray. Senator Murray, what? Oh, motion and second. All right, oh, motion and second. Thank you. I apologize. Uh, roll call. Senator Felag? Yes. Senator Murray? Yes. Senator Lawson? Senator Bell? Yes. Senator Mendes? Yes. Senator Raptakis? Yes. Senator Seveny? Yes. Senator De La Cruz? Yes. 
Okay, moving on to the next bill is uh, Senator Paolino, uh, Senate Bill 614. Uh, just for the people on the committee, I believe we have one, two, three, four, five people testifying. Uh, we also have a number of emails and correspondence relative to this piece of legislation. So, Senator Paolino, can you endeavor to explain this piece of legislation? Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Um, this act would also allow for uh, license plates to be issued in recognition of Choose Life. Um, I believe that this legislation was introduced and passed in 2013, if my memory serves me correctly. And I think it even passed both chambers um, and ultimately um, was vetoed by the governor. So um, I'm reintroducing the bill today based on a constituents or a number of constituents' requests. Uh, one thing that I think is um, important to mention is the current legislation, the way it's written, has to be sub aid and must change slightly. The entity that, um, I, uh, CareNet, that was going to be handling the funds um, reached out to me and is uh, requesting for somebody else to be in control of that. So, um, in fact, I ran into somebody today um, at our colleague's, Elaine Morgan's husband's funeral, um, with an entity called the Little Flower Home, and they said that they would be willing to step in and be that entity to handle the funds. And with that, I can answer any questions. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, Senator Reptakis. Yeah, not a question for Senator Payton, but I just want to say that there's 33 states that do have pro-life license plates, so it's not something new. So the majority of the states in the United States have issued pro-life, and there's very few pro-choice states that issue pro-choice plates. But, but it's not that, that that somebody's against them. But I think there just hasn't been the momentum. So uh, under the First Amendment, I think believe that anybody can make that introduction and have that opinion made under the First Amendment. So that's why there is a majority of 33 states currently today that do issue pro-life license plates. Thank you, Lou. I don't want to hear it now. Okay. It's too late. All right, uh, Senator Lawson. Thank you, Chairman. I was just wondering, um, Senator Paolino, could you provide a description of the organization you said was going to replace them, what they do? Yeah, of course I can. That's great. Let me actually, I think I have a link right here. Um, they're called the Little Flower Home. Um, and so but basically what they do is they help serve pregnant homeless women in Rhode Island and Mass. Um, so, you know, a, a woman who des has decided to choose life, uh, they will look to help her um, find a home if she uh, finds herself homeless for some situation um, around the pregnancy. And again, it's uh, called the Little Flower Home. Thank you. Uh, one, of, one of the things I noticed, Senator Paolino, is that it, it doesn't state the uh, minimum number of uh, people to uh, manufacture the plate. It's supposed to be 600. So that would have to be okay. another sub A if we move forward with this legislation. Uh, sure, any I other questions? Sen that, Senator? That, yeah, so, uh, just to follow up, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think the sub A with, with that information along with the little flower home um, changing over and being the entity to uh, hold on to the funding I think would be great. Thank you. you usually what the Senate does is we have a, uh, a, a pre-labeled template, so to speak, that we put these plates uh, into so that it, uh, the uh, mechanism is the same for each particular individual. So do we have any other questions? All right, we have the first witness, I believe, uh, Carrie Young. Uh, good evening, Kara. Yes. Uh, you're in Senate uh, special legislation regarding the uh, Choose Life bill uh, for license plates. Can you endeavor Great. to explain? Sure. Thank you, Chairman Felag. Thank you guys for allowing me to speak today. 
Hi, Senator Paolino. Um, yeah, I, I am obviously in favor um, of this place, and as um, Senator Rakakis had pointed out, 33 other states um, have approved this place already. Um, three of those states being our, our neighboring states of Connecticut and Massachusetts, um, New Jersey as well has approved these. Um, and you know, it's 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 a it's a common sense thing. And the organization I'm actually on the board of Servants of Christ for Life, um, the umbrella organization for um, the Little Flower Home. And um, Senator Paleno did a great job of explaining it already. But um, just to tell you again, the mission of the Little Flower Home is to provide safe and temporary residence residences for homeless pregnant mothers and, and their children and to assist in, and support them in their efforts to secure a permanent living arrangement. So we have um, residences for them in Providence, North Providence, Newport, Lincoln, Tiverton, and also in Attleboro, Massachusetts. And we help them with other uh, services as well, um, as well as long-term subsidized housing. We help them with food stamps, um, free medical insurance, educational opportunities, job placement. Um, and so it's really just it's a wonderful organization, and um, I think it's a, it's a win-win. I don't see how anybody could have a problem with assisting, you know, um, pregnant homeless women who, who need a place to stay. And I really um, encourage you to, to, to pass this legislation. Thank you. Um, any questions from the committee? Uh, moving on, thank you for your testimony. Uh, thank next, you so much. Next we have a John Cullen, uh, also in favor of the legislation. Mr. Cullen. Hello? Yes, uh, you are in uh, Senate Special Legislation. Can you please uh, provide your testimony on the Choose Life uh, bill? Okay, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, uh, and, and uh, members of the committee. Honorable members of the committee, my name is John Cullen from Lincoln, Rhode Island. Honorable members of the Special Legislation Committee, I ask for your support to recommend this bill to the Senate floor for passage. This bill was vetoed by Governor Chafee 10 years ago because he said he did not like the message. It was sent to his desk after passing the House and the Senate by 60% of the vote. But Governor Chafee did not like the message. This is still America, where we all have First Amendment rights of free speech. So I ask you senators to support this bill because it is free speech issue, whether you agree with the message or not. The famous quote by Evelyn Hall, I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. There is a bill before you today, honorable senators, sponsored by Senator Ruggiero for a license plate for the Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. I support this bill, and I hope the committee supports it to also. If we can have license plate support in Hasbro Potato Head, Osprey, Lighthouses, the Red Sox, the Patriots, fighting breast cancer, and many other messages, we certainly can allow Rhode Islanders the free speech and right to support the precious unborn children. Thank you, and respectfully, I ask you to support this bill. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony. Do we have any questions from the committee? Uh, none. Uh, next, we have uh, Steve Lenat. What? Next, we got Aiden uh, Curry. Is Aiden Curry on the line? Respectfully, I Is this no. Aiden? Yes. Welcome to the uh, Special Legislation Committee. Uh, you were speaking on Senator Paolino's bill uh, regarding 614 on Choose Life Special Plate. Yes. Proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, just a big thanks to Senator Paolino for putting this bill in. I'm one of Senator Paolino's constituents. Um, I want to express my profound support for this bill. Um, as several witnesses have mentioned, 10 years ago, uh, the General Assembly easily passed this bill only for it to be vetoed by Governor Chafee in what I would call a big cop-out, one of the biggest in Rhode Island history. Um, as Senator Raptak has pointed out, 33 states have choose life plates, including our neighbors, uh, Massachusetts and Connecticut. And this message is one that comes from the heart. And the Little Flower Home is a great uh, institution that helps women. And uh, it would just be wonderful if uh, we can support them through a license plate. 
Our state should give Rhode Islanders the opportunity to express themselves by passing this bill, um, and I hope the committee will recommend that this reach the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions of the committee? Hearing none. Uh, next, uh, we have Barbara Cullen. Barbara, are you online? Hello, Barbara. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the uh, Senate Special Legislation Committee. Uh, you are speaking on behalf of the Special Plate for Choose Life, sponsored by Senator Paolino, correct? Correct. Proceed. Okay, I am a lifelong Rhode Islander, and I urge the Senate to support this bill. I consider it a freedom issue. Uh, many other ideas and uh, philosophies are on place in the state of Rhode Island at this time. And I think that too much should be for the people who would like to express that freedom. Uh, years ago, Lincoln Chafee vetoed this bill. He said he didn't like the message. But that's the whole point of freedom of speech. The whole point of freedom of speech is that you get to say what you want and what you believe, even though other people might not like the message. I know people who don't like the message of the Red Sox. Like, like not, not me personally, but never thought they, you know, the Red Sox stand to support their team, uh, in spite of it might maybe being controversial. So in spite of this maybe being controversial, I would urge the Senate to pass it so that people uh, uh, in the pro-life uh, movement have their opportunity to show support on the site. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for your testimony. Uh, do we have any questions of uh, Barbara Cullen? Uh, hearing none, uh, that wraps up the uh, testimony by callers uh, in support. I probably have maybe 50 pieces of uh, correspondence from individuals and organizations. I'll just read off a few of them. Uh, the League of Women Voters uh, is in opposition to this. The Women's Project is in opposition. The Rhode Island Coalition of Reproductive Freedom is in opposition and Planned Parenthood is in opposition. I do have correspondence from DMV uh, indicating that the template is off and it requires some changes such that it's uh, congruent to other pieces of legislation which I have pointed out to Senator Paolino and also probably 45 emails correspondence uh, either strongly opposed or strongly in favor of this legislation. So at this particular time, I'd like to have a motion to hold for further study. Do we have that in the motion, please? So moved. We have a motion by Senator Seveny. Do we have a second? By Senator Mendes. Uh, roll call, please. Senator Felag? Yes. yes. Senator Murray? Yes. Senator Lawson? Yes. Senator Bell? Senator Bell? Senator Mendes? Yes. Senator Raptakis? No. Senator Seveny? Yes. Senator De La Cruz? No. Okay, the uh, bill is held for further study. Uh, the next bill we have on the agenda is 554 by Senator McCaffrey. Uh, Senator McCaffrey has a, uh, another meeting to attend. Uh, this would authorize the issuance of a special motor vehicle plate for the Rhode Island Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Uh, 
I don't know if I've received any correspondence. Yes, I have relative to uh, DMV. Uh, they're requesting a, an amendment also to this piece of legislation relative to the uh, 600 plate mark. And hearing no further testimony, could I have a motion to hold for further study? Uh, De La Cruz, you have a motion or a question? A motion, I hope. Well, I, I can make the motion, but I, I've been trying to be, uh, uh, Senator Felag, I know that I'm new to the committee and I'm just filling in for Senator Morgan, but I was trying to um, raise my hand uh, to uh, comment on Senator Palino's uh, license plate bill. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess you can comment, make a comment in, in that way. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't want to interrupt uh, the committee. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Chairman. I just wanted to point out, as many as, as the uh, individuals that called in today, that there was strong support for uh, this license plate. And it is a matter of uh, freedom of speech. And we have a lot of uh, license plate bills before us today. Uh, one for sharks, one for animals, one for Alzheimer's. And um, if there are enough people who want to purchase the license plate, uh, we should allow for it. I would even go so far to say either we allow for special license plates or we don't allow them at all. But we shouldn't exclude um, a license plate simply because we don't um, agree with the pro-life message. Thank you, Chairman. I appreciate that comment. Uh a few years ago, one of, one of the things we want to be sure of, and over the years since I've been the chair, we've been approving these types of legislation, and what we find is that people don't get the uh, proper number of the 600, and so it's a very difficult thing to gauge, and we established a rule that we would have it within a five-year period, and then at some of the junctures, we've had to increase or extend that for another five years because people haven't got to that point. And so we, we like to make sure that there's a, uh, uh, an appetite, so to speak, for that, that people uh, want to have a particular type of license plate. Uh, a few years back, uh, maybe four years ago, I think we approved about six pieces of legislation relative we didn't hold any of them back but it was just that uh it seems like i got to get a thing from dmv to indicate where the status is on those particular plates but i appreciate your comments uh can we have a motion to hold 554 we have a motion by senator de la cruz do we have a second 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 by senator 70 roll call please senator felag yes senator murray Yes. Senator Lawson? Yes. Senator Bell? Senator yes. It may also be recorded in the on the motion to vote. Chairman, is that fine? I, I believe Senator Bell also wants to be recorded, and that's fine. Senator Raptakis? Yes. Oh, excuse me, Senator Mendes? Yes. Senator Seveny? Yes. And Senator De La Cruz? Yes. All right, the last bill of the evening is uh, Senate Bill 809 by Senator Picard. Uh, Senator Picard indicated to me that he may be in another, he was in another committee and may not be able to get out to uh, provide uh, Direction on this piece of legislation. Uh, it's a Masonic Grand Lodge charity plate. Uh, we've received correspondence from DMV indicating that it's not in the proper form. Uh, I think they indicated 500 in a piece of legislation. The statute calls for 600. And so there are other changes that have to be made to this particular piece of legislation. There is no one here to speak in favor. I did receive a couple of letters, correspondence uh, against this piece of legislation. 
uh, by people living in Lincoln and Cranston. And so with that, and again, I believe this is the first time we're hearing this bill. Uh, can I have a motion to hold for further study? Motion by Senator Murray, second by Senator Lawson. Roll call, please. Senator Felag? Yes. Senator Murray? Yes. Senator Lawson? Senator, Senator Lawson, yes. Yeah, okay. Senator Bell? Yes. Senator Mendes? Yes. yes. Okay. Senator Raptakis? Yes. Senator Seveny? Yes. Senator De La Cruz? Yes. And I would like to uh, thank the committee for their indulgence today and ask for a motion to adjourn. We have so a motion. motion. Everyone wants to adjourn, so that's good. It's still a nice day out there. Enjoy your day, and uh, the Senate is now in uh, adjournment. So, thank you.